little bit of a discombobulated mess. What's up everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be organizing our closet, some drawers, my desk drawer, and also the bathroom sink area like under there because I've let it look like a tornado went through there. Kind of like my closet. I'm a little bit of a discombobulated mess. So we're going to take a little bit of time today to go ahead and just fix that. And I just feel like whenever things are more organized, you know where everything is, you can just be more efficient with any life tasks or your job. And I work from home quite a bit, so this whole space is my office, essentially. And having it organized and clean is very, very important, so that's the goal today. It is currently very gloomy and very rainy outside. There's lightning bolts and thunder, and we're just gonna be all cozy in our oversized shirts and just clean and organize and listen to the rain because that's the vibe, right? <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start with the closet. I will show you guys, it's a little embarrassing, but it's okay. If anybody has the same habit of tossing your clothes on the floor whenever you're done with them and you just don't want to deal with them at the moment, that's totally me. I throw everything on the floor, which is very strange because normally I'm a very like, you can ask any of my family or friends, I'm a very neat person. I'm a clean freak. So my closet is like the space where I let it all just go to crap. <laughs> Okay, so this is the hurricane I call a closet. Cooper went ahead and did his half, so he has all of his stuff organized by like jackets and t-shirts and polos, and he has everything like he likes, and it looks really good. So now it's my turn, <laughs> and you can see here, this is where it all happens. So this basket here is all dirty, needs to be washed, so I'm gonna take that out. We're gonna go through and organize these drawers and just take this and make it better. <laughs> so now that you've seen my chaotic mess, let's go ahead and let's pour some iced coffee to give us some fuel to take care of that <laughs> and let's get to work. Okay, so now we have our iced coffee, we have our rain, our thunder. I mean, this looks like a hurricane. So we have two of these under our bed, and then we also have one in the closet, and I really want to consolidate into one under the bed so I can put the other one in storage. I did not even switch out my summer clothes and my winter clothes this year, so when I tell you that I have not attended to this closet in a minute, it's been probably about two seasons, so. I don't know if the camera caught that thunder, but dang. All right guys, well, let's go ahead, let's get to work because I want my closet clean. <laughs> So now I'm just gonna pull everything out. I don't know if you can hear the thunder. I hope you can. Oh, wait for it. <laughs> I swear, this thunderstorm looks like a hurricane. I live in Charleston, so obviously like storms like this are pretty, pretty common during the summer daily, but these are like pretty intense. Like these are like bolts of lightning every couple, minutes or seconds not seconds but every couple minutes it's like serious lightning sideways rain like it's blowing the screen on our windows like it's like it's an intense storm we had one of these last night too but anyway besides the point it's just adding to our cozy vibe but i'm gonna pull all of these clothes out onto the bed put them into their piles and then we're just gonna figure out which ones we want folded and put away into the bin which is most likely gonna be jackets and scarves then once we do that we're gonna hang everything back up and put it back in a very organized fashion and then we'll probably tackle the drawers so let's get to work <music> So I've pulled all of my clothes out 
felt completely empty aside from a couple hangers and my bathrobe right here <laughs> um, but everything is on the bed so I think what I'm gonna do is go through and fold up my winter clothes and put them away because here it doesn't get cold until like it gets a little chill in October but it doesn't actually truly get cold until like November or December and it's the middle of July right now so we don't really we don't need that right now and we don't want that right yet so <laughs> we're gonna put those away and then hang up the extra hangers and just reorganize what we are gonna keep hung up lots to go through so let's get going <music> but it's an organized mess. Down here is just extra hangers. This is like t-shirts. My dresses are there. And then around the corner over here where that sleeve is, that's like jackets. All of my thick winter stuff is right there. That's the bin over here that I pulled out of the closet. So I have two of these and I really want to consolidate the things I'm not wearing or using at the moment into one. And then maybe other things that I still want to get to, but I'm not, I don't want out in the other one. These are just more wintry fall things, more so winter. And then this is just stuff that was on the floor and I just need to put those into all these piles. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to rehang up everything that we're going to keep hung up. And then all of the stuff that I folded to put into the bins, I'm just gonna have all of that out so I can see exactly what's going in there because as you saw, it's kind of a chaotic, organized mess, but I just, I don't know, I like to see what I'm working with. So I really want that stuff hung up and then I'm going to go through the white drawers here at the bottom of the closet. Cooper has gone through his already, but there's these two drawer towers and then there's two more around the corner inside of the closet. Those are from Target, by the way, and they've been really great. They were like 25 bucks and they hold a good amount of stuff. So yeah, we're gonna go through those and try to get these bags off the top of the shelf. And then hopefully it will look a lot better. It'll definitely be more organized. And then we'll probably hit my dresser drawers that mostly just needs to be refolded because I've kind of just tossed things in there. It's such a bad habit. Like I said, I'm a neat freak with everything else, but like when it comes to the closet and my drawers, I get really lazy and I don't know why. <laughs> um, if you're like that too, comment down below so I know I'm not alone. Let's get this closet done. <laughs> So this is everything hung up so far aside from what's dirty but i have my dresses here that go into rompers tank tops t-shirts long sleeve shirts sweatshirts and then just like a jacket or two that i kept out Cooper stuff is over here and i cleared those bags off over here and then now it's time for these so these three are my drawers Cooper already did these, so they look a lot better. I can't remember. I think I have like one or two drawers over here, so we're gonna tackle those now. And this is all gonna go into a bin along with scarves that I have out. So I'm just gonna use this whole surface area and figure out if I can fit all of this in bins because it's all pretty chunky. <laughs> So yeah, as you can see, these are all scarves and beanies and obviously, like I said, I'm not going to need these for a little bit. So I'm going to see what I can fit in the bin and figure out maybe what else to put in these. I might put my workout clothes. I don't know. We need a better use for these though. I'm not really sure what yet. Hmm. Let's see what we can fit into the bins first. That might help. <laughs> 
Okay, so I have my two bins here, and the best way I have found to fit everything, as far as clothes, is rolling, and I also have these vacuum seal bags. They're by Hefty, but I think Glad makes them. Um, there's a few companies that make them, but this makes the biggest difference, especially with winter and fall clothes because they're so chunky. We're gonna see kind of what we can fit in here without those, and then use those for the essential things that won't smush down and <laughs> that we can't roll. I'm okay putting this stuff in storage. This stuff I would like here, but just not out. So this will go under the bed, this will go to storage. So I'm just gonna fill these up and see what we can do here. <laughs> Fun fact, I actually made this dress. <laughs> This is bathing suit, tops and bottoms, sh pattern shorts, um, and then like this like beach scarf that I got, and then my pants and some jeans underneath. These are all scarves, which I'm totally okay keeping here. And then the new office drawer. So we are finally done with the closet. Let me show you guys the final product. <laughs> okay, so the top is totally clear except for our vision board and a couple little signs and pictures that we have hung up. And it just looks so much cleaner. And then we also don't have anything on top anymore. Remember that's like, that had a bunch of fallen clothes on it and here was the underbed bin that we're gonna put into the storage unit only thing is my duffel bag and that just has like purses and a couple bags in it but other than that it is super clean super clear and I'm very proud of this <laughs> all right guys well it's the next day and the closet actually took me a little bit longer than what I'd anticipated I ended up just calling it a day there and just watching a movie for the night and just rested and now we are back at it fueled and ready to go with yet another iced coffee and we're going to tackle these dresser drawers. Now the main goal with these is honestly just to like refold them in an organized way because I've kind of gotten, I've turned that into like a, a catch-all basically. So um, we just need to like refold it. It's all just jumbled in there. And then also I really wanted to do my desk, which is right behind me. My desk drawer and my desk itself just has so much stuff on it. I have books in there, notebooks that just don't need to be in there anymore. So I would really like for those to come out so that I can put the stuff I do use into the drawer and get it off of the top of my desk because it's so frustrating. <laughs> and I'll show you guys a really cool app that I've been using for probably about two years now. And I was able to get a $50 Target gift card and also just recently a $25 Amazon gift card. So it's really nice. And I've actually been trying to put that towards our house just so that we utilize it in the best way but you can use it for anything but I'll show you guys what that is but for now let's go ahead and tackle the dresser and the desk drawer so these three are my drawers and these are Cooper's his are of course already done and pristine um, but these are mine and so this one is like my pajama drawer and you can totally see what I mean like I just kind of toss everything in here and this drawer here well okay so this drawer and this drawer are activewear and they used to be like one was tops and one was bottoms but it just honestly kind of meshed together with my laziness so we're gonna go ahead and get these all sorted I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm trying to 
make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs give out mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day Okay, so I found a really cool way to fold my long sleeve shirt. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I'm going to fold all of my workout tops that have long sleeves. Okay, so you're gonna have your shirt face down and you're going to fold it in half like this. And then bring the sleeve, it's gonna be out this way. You're just gonna fold it over that half of your shirt and then just do the same thing on the other side. Like that, straighten it out, and then just fold it back. And then you can like set them in your drawer, you can stack them, you can put them vertical, and it saves room, and it honestly, it looks a lot neater, as long as you know what shirt it is. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do this to the rest of my long sleeve shirt. kind of curious I went on TikTok and I found a way to refold my leggings to where they would be like more just neat and compact and they won't get unfolded because I feel like leggings can be super slippery sometimes it, her name is at clean my space yeah we're gonna try this and see how it goes <laughs> so we're gonna fold them in half and then she folds in the crotch <laughs> so then fold the bottom up by two thirds Okay, and then you're gonna fold this waistband down, and then she folds it into here. What? Oh, wow. Okay, that's pretty cool. What do you guys think? That's pretty, pretty neat. Let's try it again. Her name is uh, Clean My Space on TikTok, by the way. This is the TikTok I'm using. So let's try it one more time. So we folded the leggings in half, fold in the crotch, Okay, and then we're going to fold from the legs up in two thirds, basically up to the crotch. <laughs> and then you're gonna fold the waistband to your other fold. And then you're gonna fold into the waistband, like tucking it into the waist. Okay, well, that works, yeah, okay. Cool. And then I guess if you have ties on yours too, just tuck them in. So if you wanted to like have them vertical in the drawer too, like the shirts, or if you just want to kind of keep them stacked, or that's a really cool way to do it. So I can see the light. Oh, and I'll try to spread my wings so I can fly. Oh, and the darkness starts to fade. I definitely recommend. <laughs> it works with biker shorts too. <laughs> I'm gonna let the past be filled with smoke. And I will try to fix what has been broken. And take this weight off my shoulders. Cause I know yesterday ain't coming back. show you the finished product. Katie is very excited to see. She loves to jump into these. So the first one is PJs. This is like just t-shirt comfy lounge pants. Okay so this is super exciting. So I made the middle one the tops and sports bras and then the bottom is going to be like shorts and leggings. So these are all of my long sleeve shirts here and then these are my tank tops and then 
all of these are my sports bras. I kind of go through them pretty quickly, so I just wanted to have them where I could see them. So I just folded them in half and folded the straps down. And then lastly is the bottoms drawer. So a lot of my biker shorts are dirty right now, so that's why. And I have another pair of these like Nike shorts with the lining in them. I worked out in them this morning, so they're still, they're dirty. <laughs> so all of my biker shorts will go right here vertically. And then these are all of my leggings and they're tucked in the way that we folded them. So they're not gonna like slip out or anything. Thing. They stay nice and folded and these I can see very easily because the fabric is pretty flimsy So they're kind of hard to fold so here's the next monster We're gonna tackle and it's my desk and I'm still kind of working on a setup here But as far as like organizing it I just want to have the main things that I need in the sa like the main books and pens and stuff that I need while I'm here I want it here and not anything else so here's a good before shot and then here's what it looks like in the drawer right now but we're gonna fix it <laughs> finished look well here's the finished product I should say it's definitely not the finished look I want to get some bookends or like a plant or something to go here and everything is off the top of the desk now so the only things that are on top are my weekly planner this is from Target I absolutely love this planner it's been amazing and then obviously my laptop and if you open the drawer it looks so much neater <laughs> this these are my realtor business cards and my name tag. And then I have some pastel sticky notes. And right here I have two rulers. One is like a smaller ruler and one is this bigger wooden ruler. And I use these quite a lot. And then a pencil and eraser. And then I have these little pastel highlighters here. My binder clips. And then under the binder clips is my portable charger. I use this almost daily. And then I have my AirPods for editing. And then my external hard drive. And then my SD card reader. Here I have my two journals. So I have, these are both from Target. And they're both just five star composition notebook. And then this is my content planning notebook. And I just kind of put a lot of ideas that I have into this book. And then that black spiral is my real estate notes notebook. This is my real estate binder. And then my iPad. I work on this all the time. It's much simpler and much more useful. And I can actually get to everything that I need. Okay. So we have completed the closet, the drawers in the closet, our dresser drawers, and and our desk drawer and now it's time to tackle the bathroom so under our sink and in the one drawer that we have it's gotten pretty much like a dumping ground I should say kind of kind of embarrassing how bad it got but it's okay we're gonna fix it <laughs> but actually to help organize under there I got two drawer organizers and a basket that was on sale at Target but I actually got it with a $50 gift card that I got from an app that I've really been enjoying and I'm not sponsored by them or anything I just wanted to share with you guys but it's called fetch rewards and basically all you do is whenever you grocery shop or you know you go really shopping anywhere even online they do e-receipts just scan your receipt seats and you get points and after you get a certain amount of points you can redeem them for gift cards for any they have a lot of stores on there not really any store but they have a ton of stores on there I guarantee you it's probably you're they probably have your favorite store on there so um, but you can search and you can do like I think it's like ten dollars twenty five dollars fifty dollars um, it's different per store but um, I chose Target I got to 50,000 points and I got a $50 Target gift card and I put that towards some organization that was highly highly needed in our bathroom <laughs> the app is super easy to use you just open it up and then press the camera icon and scan the receipt and then certain items will give you like bonus points they'll run different specials to where if you buy a certain item you get like a bonus amount of points like there was one time um, I got PB2 powdered peanut butter and got 1500 points just for buying that and I was gonna get it anyway so honestly if you're grocery shopping or if you're buying something anyway you may as well get the most amount of value out of it that you can I've just been using that for about two years now and I really really enjoy it I used the $50 Target gift card
card and I just recently got a $25 Amazon gift card because I reached 25,000 points. It's a lot of fun and it's kind of cool to see all your points add up. So I highly recommend that. Show you guys what I got with the gift card and then we will go ahead and get everything organized and pristine. So these are the two drawer pieces that we got. So they're actually separate, but you can buy different ones and stack them. You could just leave it like this and have this as a shelf, but it's just a deeper drawer. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna put in here yet, but that'll be super useful. And then we also got this skinnier drawer to stack on top, which I think is gonna help a lot. And then we found this little basket for $5 and it's gonna be used for toilet paper. I thought it was really cute and pretty and light and just goes very well with the bathroom. And now for the reveal of the disaster that I've created over the course of a few months. <laughs> Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> this part isn't that bad. It just needs a little touch up. And yeah, it just needs a little reorganizing. It's nothing crazy. This is pretty bad too. This is our drawer. Um, yeah, so you can kind of see why we need to organize in here. So let's go ahead and let's put this stuff to use in here and make this a lot more efficient. <laughs> under the sink, which was the absolute worst. And <laughs> obviously it looks so much better. So like I said earlier, there's toilet paper in there. These are the products that I reach for every morning and like throughout the day, like if I come in here to do a touch up or something. This white bag here has extra makeup. There's all my contact solution. And then in this top drawer, I have contacts, feminine products, <laughs> and then um, face masks and razors and then this is the hair drawer so i have my hair tools brushes back in that little bag there are like claw clips and hair ties and stuff like that and then i have my little hairspray right here 
yeah, it looks so, so much better. Like a whole world of a difference. <laughs> this one was kind of challenging for me to organize just because there's so many products. Yeah, all that's first aid, just like hair products here that I'm not currently using, but I don't want to get rid of. And then sunscreen and then like peroxide to go with the first aid kit and then a perfume. This is all of Clipper stuff here skincare and then we keep our toothbrush and toothpaste and then we have the bag back there is just nail polish and then for the drawer i'm so excited about this holy moly <laughs> it's so much better so this is all i have to do whenever i do my makeup in the morning is just pull this container out set it on the counter do my thing and put it back which is so much easier than the bag that it was in that's everyday makeup products my glasses contacts extra hair ties tweezers some floss scissors nail clippers and then i tied together some q-tips that we had but yeah overall it looks so much better it's much more efficient and i know where everything is <laughs> so that is a wrap thank you so much for spending the past few days with me organizing my life and hopefully not judging me too hard for how messy that things have gotten, especially the bathroom. But don't worry, I'm gonna keep it nice and clean and I'm really excited because I feel refreshed, recharged, and I hope that it inspired you to do the same in your space because it really does feel so much better once it's done. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed or you did get some inspiration, please don't forget to thumbs it up and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.